onde é que está aqui? Que bagunça, Wallace! Com o Kukulkan tocar no Nakta e até aqui. Tone, tocar no Marça do Yakaji. No Hotsium! Estão aqui, Macau. Tchau, Caso! Sesta ali! Tikto! As you know, over the last 500 years, at the beginning of this globe deception, science has progressively tried to frame themselves as the one and only authority on the world and our universe around us. And anybody that challenges their ideas or theories, such as the globe, anybody that questions is immediately humiliated and forced to bow down to one of their gatekeepers on TV and recant their story. And what this is known as is argument from authority. An argument from authority is called an appeal to authority is a type of argument which argues that because a person or group seen as having authority on an issue believes something about it, it is likely to be true. Now more and more people are coming forward and saying a mere appeal to authority alone had better be avoided. And as Carl Sagan, one of their gods of science, even said himself, one of the great commandments of science is mistrust arguments from authority. Too many such arguments have proved too painfully wrong. Authorities must prove their contentions like everybody else. And that comes from their, or one of their main gods in their pantheon, Carl Sagan. Now, they can hide what they've done through their authority, like I said. If a scientist does not want to conform to their dogma, they can cut off funding for any research he might want to do. They can be stopped dead in their tracks at the universities since they control most of the universities. They can stop them from receiving their doctorate and so on. But the one thing they can't do is hide what they've done as far as coding in the worship of their sun god into the cosmology. Because as we know, these guys are all about the numbers and they believe that God can be deconstructed simply by math and numbers. So what I'm gonna talk about now and show you is how they coded the worship to their sun god, Lucifer, whatever name you want to give it, if you go all the way back, it's about solar worship. It's about the sun. So let's start with a number I've used many, many times in my videos. The number 216. 216 is significant because it's 6 times 6 times 6, 666. And it's their main solar number that they use through a lot of these hoaxes, these shooting hoaxes, and so on. It's also, if you look at the 345 Pythagorean Triangle, I've talked about this as a former Mason myself. In the first degree, you learn about the 345 Triangle, Pythagorean Triangle, and how it produced Horus. If you take the cube, of those numbers, 3, 4, 5, and add the sum of them, you get 216. So 216 is the smallest cube that is also the sum of three cubes. In Revelations 21, 17, now this is just a little tidbit I'm going to give you, and then you'll see how it ties in later with the sun. But in Revelation 21, 17, they measured the wall 
thereof of the new Jerusalem which is supposed to descend from heaven to earth. And they found it to be 144 cubit, which equals 216 feet. So with this number in mind, let's see where they put it. We can start with the earth, which they said had a circumference of 21,600 nautical miles. The moon, a diameter of 2,160 miles. Now remember, in numerology, zeros are superfluous. They don't matter. The 216 is what matters. The distance to the moon, 216,000 miles. And also, these numbers come from the older texts. And they've tried to change them over time to hide the coding that they've done. Also, the axial tilt of the Earth, 23.4 degrees. What's left, if you take that from 90, is 66.6 degrees. 666. That's 216, if you multiply it together. So they hide it everywhere, but in plain sight, as they like to do. Now, 216, if you double 216, because they, they do this all the time to give it more reverence, or they'll take, you know, half the number or a quarter of the number, you know, to kind of be sneaky about encoding the number. So 432 is 2 times 216. Where'd they hide that number? Well, if you look at Jupiter, Jupiter has an orbital period of 4,320 days. Jupiter also has a 43,200 mile radius. Then we look at Mars. We know associated with the with war, the war god, has a diameter of 4,320 miles. This number is even encoded in the speed of light. If you take 432 times 432, you get the speed of light in miles per second. And lastly, 432 times the distance to the moon of 216,000 miles will give you the distance to the sun. Now, what they also did, they took half that number, 108. So 108 is significant. It's half of 216. Where did they hide that one? Well, we'll start with Saturn. Saturn has a polar diameter of 108,000 kilometers. It also has an orbital period of 108,000 days. Now we'll look at Venus, the morning star associated with Lucifer. It has an orbital distance of 108 million kilometers. And then right here on Earth, our orbital velocity, 108,000 kilometers per hour. Now, if you remember, they said we were also flying through space at 666,000 miles per hour. Then they changed it to 600. 667,000, but it was 666,666 again. Also, if you take 108 times the sun's diameter of 864,000 miles, it equals the sun distance from Earth. If you take the sun diameter divided by the Earth diameter, you get 108. And then lastly, the average distance between the sun and Earth equals... 108 times the sun's diameter. Then we come finally to the thing that they worship and they hold most dear, the sun, the sun god, associated with Lucifer, Satan, whatever you want to call it, all the various names. The diameter of the sun, they gave the number 864,000 miles. Why is that number significant? Well, I'll tell you why. First of all, it's four times 216,000. The world was created in six days. Six days brings you 8,640 minutes. The seconds in a day, 86,400, 864 again. And then the best one of all, why they gave it this number to its most, their most important deity, the sun, is that in Revelations, the new Jerusalem descends from heaven, a perfect cube. And they measure 
all manner of angles on that cube. And what they're left with at the end, after all the measurements, is that the entire square, the surface area of that cube equaled 864 million furlongs squared, 864. So they saved the best for last. And why is Revelations important? Why do they pull from Revelations? Because, like I said, they believe that through chaos, they can bring it about their own time, their own way, and for their own purpose. And as a matter of fact, chaos, if you take that word and apply the Masonic cipher to it, chaos equals 216. So if you don't want to listen, you don't want to see, there's not a lot I can do for you. Just stick to your science, your God science. Stick to CNN. But if you are at least open to the prospect that you've been fooled, and you're open to what I'm saying, then all this is is a wake-up call then for you. And I hope you do wake up. And I appreciate you watching and listening. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye.